So spatial data was founded in 1996. Primarily, it's been a conventional photogrammetry service provider, as well as other geospatial services. We work on a multitude of projects, including landfills, transportation, and other civil engineering needs. A couple of things about the MD LiDAR 3000 that I have grown to appreciate is the integration of the payload into the system. It's a very easy system to actually put together and manage when planning missions and actually uh, utilizing in the field. The actual attaching of the payload is done through a quick release mechanism that seems to be pretty unique in the market. What we've done is we've fully integrated the Regal Minivux 1 sensor as well as the APX 20 from a Planix, as well as a 42.4 megapixel Sony RX1 R2. That's a fully integrated workflow from planning your mission in MD cockpit and flying in MD cockpit as well, processing your trajectory data and producing your georeference point cloud in our MD LiDAR software. Everything starts in MD Cockpit, where it's a very streamlined way to plan a mission. We have these Aplanix IMUs and INS systems on our airframes that allows us to collect highly accurate direct georeference data. We actually integrate that within our MD Cockpit software. You actually plan your alignment waypoints within the mission, and you get feedback from the IMU, from the system, while you're in the air to let you know everything's working properly, so you know you're going to gather good data before you actually land on the ground. Bringing the MD LiDAR 3000 system into our existing workflow was pretty seamless. It's what we do every day. We plan missions, mobilize the vehicle to the field to collect data, bring that data back to the office for processing, and then deliver multiple different mapping products to our customers. It's a seamless end-to-end -end LiDAR workflow, starting in MD Cockpit and finishing in our very own MD LiDAR software.